So Audrey 2 is one of a kind, but she's based off of a real Venus flytrap. Zach, would you mind explaining the parts of a Venus flytrap and how they all work? Of course. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm a gardener here at the United States Botanic Garden, and I grow our carnivorous plants. And hi, my name is Derek, and I'm going to be playing Seymour in Ford's Theater's production of The Little Shop of Horrors. And today we have these beautiful Venus flytraps in front of us, as well as this Audrey 2 model. And you can see there's a lot of similarities. Now Audrey 2 has a mouth, and these Venus flytraps look like they have lots of mouths. You want to go ahead and try sticking your finger in one of these, Derek? Yeah, let me try one of these. I promise they can't hurt you. Oh wow, look at that! Yeah, Turn so Venus flytraps can't actually hurt people, and these vicious looking hairs on the outside of the leaves are actually very soft. Mm -hmm. Now the leaves are composed of two sides, each with three trigger hairs. Now two of these hairs need to be triggered within 15 seconds in order for the trap to snap shut. Afterwards, the hairs need to be continuously triggered for quite a while in order for the leaves to seal shut and start releasing digestive enzymes. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, the prey, usually insects, not normally a finger, <laughs> will be completely digested except for sometimes the exoskeleton of the insect. Wow, this all makes me so excited to get to work with Audrey Drew this coming spring.